Is Dungeons and Dragons being sold? Wizards of the Coast responds to a wild new report. Tell me! Earlier this week, an explosive rumor came out that Hasbro was looking to sell the Dungeons and Dragons IP to the Chinese conglomerate Tencent. The report, which was first posted to a Chinese website and then Google translated and reposted on Pandaily, claimed that Hasbro was looking to offload D&D to Tencent because of its ongoing financial struggles and that Tencent became a potential buyer because of their partial ownership of Larian Studios, which made Baldur's Gate 3. Now, a lot of people, including us, looked at the report skeptically because of the poor translation of the report, the fact that the report came from an obscure website, and finally, because the report seemed to parrot a ton of talking points made in a video posted by Roll for Combat that was originally posted earlier uh, this year. And eventually, Wizards of the Coast came out and formally refuted the report, providing us and several other sites with a statement. We regularly talk to Tencent and enjoy multiple partnerships with them across a number of our IPs. We don't make a habit of commenting on internet rumors, but to be clear, we are not looking to sell our D&D IP. We will keep talking to partners about how we bring the best digital experiences to our fans. We won't comment any further on speculation or rumors about potential M&A or licensing deals. So what should we make of this rumor? Was it a total clickbait lie as some claimed? Was there something lost in translation? Or was it a bit of both? Now, first and foremost, it was pretty obvious that Tencent wasn't looking to buy D&D because that doesn't really match what Tencent has done in the past. Tencent has no problem buying game studios, but they really haven't gotten into the IP business. They're a conglomerate, not a game maker, and they don't have the current structure to really handle something like D&D without a lot of investment. Like, people were talking about, well, Larian Studios could take over D&D. That would take a lot of resources that Larian currently doesn't have. They have a lot of video game makers, not RPG makers, not licensees. They, they don't have a lot of the infrastructure needed to make Dungeons & Dragons. Secondly, it doesn't make sense for Hasbro to sell Dungeons & Dragons, which it considers a core brand, which if you've ever read their brand blueprint, you would know that those core brands are a big deal. Hasbro and Wizard execs have regularly commented on seeing D&D as a value add opportunity and have multiple projects in the works seeking to monetize D&D through various digital platforms, games, and other strategies. They make a ton of money licensing D&D, either to game studios or other companies, to use D&D to make branded products. There are several brands that Hasbro doesn't consider to be core brands, but have turned to uh, extensive licensing deals to help monetize them. You can see this in a number of Hasbro brands that are being developed outside of Hasbro. D&D isn't one of those. They want to make D&D products and they think they can make a lot of money making D&D products. Finally, it wouldn't be surprising if Tencent was actually inquiring into obtaining a more robust license to make D&D video games, one that doesn't involve a profit share component. Hasbro made a lot of money off of Baldur's Gate 3 and that's a lot of money that didn't go to Larian or Tencent. It would be, frankly, foolish for Tencent not to be looking at their current licensing deal and trying to figure out what the middle ground is. How do they keep making D&D games without having to give so much money back to Hasbro? Would it require a larger upfront payment, a master licensing deal of some kind, investment into one of Hasbro's game studios? The last option, by the way, is basically impossible because, you know, Hasbro is a publicly traded company, although maybe there's some collaboration that the two companies could do. And a lot of the report really fixated on the video game licensing stuff, which led me and several others to think that this report was more about Tencent trying to negotiate a new license, one with more favorable financial terms for them, than trying to buy D&D outright. Anyways, this was a lot of uproar over nothing, although I do think it speaks to how nervous everyone is about the prospect of D&D somehow getting shuffled off to another company. Hasbro is in a weird spot right now, and I think everyone is looking with trepidation at everything that Hasbro does, even if it's unlikely that drastic changes will be coming to D&D outside of, you know, the, the usual stuff, you know, job cuts and uh, rejiggering of the business plan and stuff like that. D&D's not going away from Hasbro. We, you know, anyone who thinks otherwise, probably pretty foolish. 
Anyways, what did you think of this entire story? Let us know in the comment section, and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.